What's up everyone? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. Um, it's been 10 days since I inoculated my first batch in the 2022 breeding project, the Immaculate Inoculation. So if you haven't seen that video, go back, check it out, and we'll walk you through our entire process for breeding new varieties or new phenotypes. I wanted to do a quick update to add to the complete video and I'll probably just release this one as a small little clip but we've got our 20 first um, crosses that are all inoculated and most of them are fully colonized after 10 days so there's some really nice looking phenotypes um, we this is our Nanico, probably the front runner. And things that I'm observing are just the rate of growth, the thickness of the mycelium. You can feel it's a very firm block, which is a good sign. Um, and some of them, like this golden oyster, colonized almost in seven days time. So that's really remarkable. They have a, a nice aroma to them um, and you know check out some of these brown oysters really thick matted mycelium and probably the the number one block in bulk substrate so far is the summer oyster m2 um, we do have 19 more summer oyster varieties that i crossed coming down the pipeline so what I'm going to do is probably place these in the refrigerator, um, our walk-in cooler, until the rest of them catch up. And the reason I'm doing this is because another factor for selecting the best strains is going to be CO2 tolerance. Right now, all of our grow rooms are shut down and cleaned out for the start of the season. I'm going to run one test run with all of our different phenotypes and I want to have at least 40 to 50 blocks in there to see if I can get that CO2 up to um, threshold levels and see which strains will respond to high CO2 um, just because that's you know one way where you can really increase the efficiency of your strains so that being said um, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator for about a week to two weeks um, until the rest of the blocks catch up. That's not normally what I do, but it is a good method to slow things down. And I'm just looking forward to fruiting out all these blocks. Um, if I had a full grow room, I would throw this guy in there today. And that is after 10 days of colonization. So Colorado Summer Oyster M2, definitely winning out so far. Um, I'm super confident that we're gonna get some really nice golden oysters, some Namico. We also got some chestnut mushrooms that are coming out really nicely too. So um, I really like our chestnut stream, but I just wanted to see maybe if we can get a cool like yellow version or some variants from our mother strain. Um, so another thing I'm working on is <clears throat> we have a local Colorado enoki mushroom and it doesn't really get the height of the commercial strain that I'm growing so I'm going to be fruiting out some um, really nice white enoki mushrooms and trying to pair that with a wild strain from here in Colorado it's supposed to be a warmer enoki it was it was uh, found in the summer so if I can kind of hybridize that commercial strain which usually requires temperatures like right now in the 50s um, maybe we can add that to our normal farmer's market regimen in the summer. So stay tuned for those. Um, I'm about to draw up a bunch of liquid cultures for Etsy. So if you want to check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi, we've got a lot of great strains on there and potentially some brand new ones coming, hopefully at the end of March. Um, I already have all of these QC'd and ready and I'm going to do a small amount on G1 slants from the original pairings so stay tuned for that um, I plan on doing you know annual launches of 
really specific G1 slants. That way you guys as cultivators can get your hands on um, very uh, early on mycelium cultures and hopefully by spreading out those cultures the longevity of those strains could outlast even my farm hopefully um, so that's the idea of these breeding projects i hope you guys enjoyed that walk through i also have um, the results of my grain um, experiment up until the colonization so the rye and the wheat are definitely outperforming the rest of the grains. I'll post a full video on that when that's complete as well. Um, sorry, I'm lagging behind a little bit, but mostly it's just coming down to patience and I want to stitch together a really nice complete video on um, all the different phenotypes that we're producing here, as well as the uh, various types of grains, how they're responding in bulk substrate and different fruiting variances from those grains. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more mycology videos like these. And until next time, much love.